<laughs> okay, so there's a lot of competition in the noise cancelling space. Bose has come back with a, a pair of brand new headphones dubbed the Headphone 700. And Bear Dynamic has a brand new pair of wireless headphones dubbed the Lagoon ANC. Both are competing against Sony, so this is really exciting. Now before we jump in, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, like this video, and let's check it out. Let's get into the media of the matter. This video is gonna be a little different. We're gonna go through categories that we can compare all headphones in. You're gonna get different aspects to see which truly is king of noise canceling. So let's start off with the uh, Bose Headphone 700. Brand new from Bose, new design and feel. You look at it here, this is something very different. Doesn't look like the QC35s, uh, uh, and I do like that change of design. They've got padding on the outside and the inside of the headband, which is nice. It's got this kind of oval look overall. Uh, you do have uh, a sliding mechanism where the ear cup slides up and down, which is also pretty cool as well. Then you do have, of course, a USB Type-C port for charging. Gives you 20 hour battery life, one of the lower battery life levels compared to the other headphones. Uh, on the right ear cup, there's also the power button, Bluetooth your ANC, which is, and also your pass through to listen to conversation. So you can go ahead and actually, you know, listen to um, our superhuman heron, if you will. That's what, that's what everybody calls it. And then of course you have your Google Assistant button. There is a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack, which I don't know why they went with that. But in terms of controls, you've got touch controls on the Bose logo on the right ear cup. Uh, it's double tap to play, swipe up is volume up, swipe down, volume down, uh, swipe left or right. Really nice, fluid, works out well. Price, $4.99. The ear cups, you can rest them on your neck, but of course this is your right ear cup, right here, this is how it fits. Uh, and when you rest them, the rest outwards. So that's just the way it is. Now, moving on to the uh, Lagoon ANC from Bear Dynamic. Now you're going, okay, why are we comparing Bear Dynamics? They make fantastic headphones. If you've not heard anything from them, pay attention. So they've got more traditional headphone design. Uh, the Lagoon ANC, this is all black. There's also some black with leather stitching, brown leather stitching. Headband, it's got a plastic feel on the top, but of course, soft padding interior. Uh, it's all leather again on the ear cup. The ear cup has a little lopsidedness to it so that when you wear the ear cup, it feels more comfortable around here. It doesn't pinch as much. Uh, when it comes to controls, right ear cup. Uh, you have your USB Type-C for charging. Uh, you've got your headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter, a power button slider, and then you've got your ANC levels. Uh, then the ear cups. When you wear them, like I said, it actually feels pretty comfortable to look more traditional when you're using these, but I do like the look and feel. Touch controls on the right ear cup as well. Double tap to, to, uh, to play, swipe up, swipe down. There is no superhuman hearing, but that's what you have for controls. And of course, when you turn them on, they do light up within the ear cup. So it's actually lighting around, which is pretty cool. Gives you this nice feeling letting you know that, look, your stuff is actually on, as you can see right there. So that's cool. Now retails for $399. And finally, of course, our Sony um, WH-1000 Mark III, all black, copper tone around. Uh, as we know with these leather ear cups padding, this is a really comfortable pair, pair, comfortable pair of headphones. Uh, we've got superhuman he hearing controls on the right ear cup, uh, which you basically hold to hear your conversations, double tap, uh, touch uh, controls like everybody else. Uh, we also have a USB Type-C port for charging, giving you almost 30 hours of battery life. You've got your power and your ANC and the 3.5 mm jack and NFC tap to, to pair. So that's nice, that's really cool. Uh, now let's get into nitty gritty. Let's start grading categories. First off simply is weight. Now in terms of weight, we put them all on the scale. The um, Bear Dynamics comes up as the heaviest at about 10 ounces, 10 ounces plus. Then actually the Bose Headphone 700 comes in second at 9.37 ounces. And the uh, Sony's are the lightest of the three at eight ounces plus. So Sony's most comfortable headphones are the Sony Mark 3s. 
Now, let us move on to another category, which of course we're going to be grading, is the noise cancellation levels. This is something Bose has done so well in the past, and this is what a lot of people are concerned about. But don't be confused. Noise cancellation is not audio quality. They are not the same thing. It just means it blocks out a lot of noise. So the Sonys do a really good job. Uh, they give you three levels, two levels of noise cancellation. Bose says they have 10 levels of noise cancellation. And um, the Bed Dynamics have two levels of noise cancellation. All this, it's all relatively the same. I will put this, I would say the Bose does the best job at blocking out the most amount of noise. Uh, it does a really good job. And what Bose has improved this well, yeah, is that it doesn't impede as much to its audio quality, which we'll get to. That's our biggest thing in the end. Um, coming up second is the Sony. Sony is really good. Not as good as the Bose, but in, term, in terms of just noise cancellation. And I think Bread Dynamic comes in at a, at a close third. I think they're relatively close together. Not as big as some people will state, but relatively close together. What about music audio quality? So let's start off with the challenges. We'll go with the Bose uh, Headphone 700. Now, Bose has done a really good job improving the audio quality. I have not liked it in the past because the AMC has crowded the, the sound stage and made it really tight. This year, it's much better. The highs are really good. It really comes out clear. Um, and some of you probably heard from other reviews and said there's no bass. It's really flat on the bass. It does feel that way, but what people are not getting is that their mids are really, really weak. You've got really weak mids here, so it doesn't carry along when you have a flat, um, a flat uh, bass there. So you're getting something that you get a lot of the highs from the music you're listening to on the Bose 700, but the mids are out there, so a lot of that intensity that rises up in, in songs just is missing. It's absolutely missing. It's still clear, it's crisp. It's much more of a crisper sound to it. Less warm, more cold. Uh, that's the best way to describe it. Now, when you move to the Bear Dynamics, Bear Dynamics does a really good job with the audio. Uh, I would say the mids are good. The, the, the bass level is much better. It's got a much richer, warmer sound to it. Uh, the highs are not so high, but I think the balance is nice enough that gives you something really good and really clean. Now, this is their first entry into um, wireless noise canceling headphones, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think they've done a good job here in trying to blend the sound. Much warmer sound um, when you're listening to things that have a little bit more punch. It comes out well, but also those mids really come across as well. Now, finally, of course, the Sony WH-1000 Mark III's. Sony's done a really good job with these headphones. I think out of all three, it's the most balanced still with ANC and also your different levels in terms of your highs, mids, and your lows. So basically your lows here are come out, there's a little bit, there's maybe more oomph in the lows, but the mids are well stretched out. So when you get the songs with highs and you're coming back down, those mids fill out really well and you get a rich tone to it. I'll say Bread Dynamics is really close to that sound. Sony is very warm in its sound and also feels very warm when you listen to kind of, kind of gets to give you this warm glow around your head. Bread Dynamics does almost the same thing, uh, but I would say they're just not the same signature, just a little bit off because it's got more on from the bottom um, with the lows there, as opposed to uh, Bose, which has uh, much more of a clean and crisp sound, but no mids whatsoever, and of course, a very flat uh, lows or bass line, if you will. That's pretty much it, so for me, the king is still the Sony WH-100, WH-1000 Mark III's. Now, all these headphones have microphones built into them. So you're thinking, what about the call quality? Well, you know what? We have a test for that as well. So take a listen to all three and we'll see who's actually the best. So this is a mic test on of the Bose 700 headphone, Bose Headphone 700. Ah, the naming is silly. Anyway, uh, this will give you an idea of what the microphone on the he uh, headphone 700 sounds, uh, giving you a clear idea of what Bose is bringing to the table with these brand new pair of headphones. So uh, we'll take a listen and then we'll move on to our next headset. <laughs> 
So this is an audio recording of the Bear Dynamic Lagoon AMC, giving, an idea of, giving you an idea of what the microphone actually sounds so that you can compare them to the other two headphones in this video. Plus, you also get a good idea of what it sounds like if you are thinking of picking up these pair of headphones. So this is a sound recording of the Sony Mark III's. Uh, the microphone on this to give you an idea of what it sounds having a phone call, a conversation with the Mark III's so that when you decide to pick up this headset or not decide to pick up this headset, you know exactly what you are getting. So to me, they all are very muffled in some level or another, but I believe the Bear Dynamic actually comes in at the best in terms of mic quality compared to what uh, with the Bose coming second and the Sony coming in last is something Sony needs to fix. Now, when it comes to software applications, Bose has an app for its device, which is really rudimentary, allows you to change, of course, noise canceling levels. You can do that. You can see what devices you're connected to as a source. Uh, you can also set uh, when your device will turn off, uh, which is nice. But again, it's a very simple app. Bay Dynamics app is also very simple as well. It does take one more cue by uh, helping tune your audio, especially as you go older um, and you do lose some hearing. So this helps you tune so that you can actually hear more and it tells you the level you're listening at and how much higher you can go. So I do like that addition there, but not much in terms of playing with your audio. Sony has the best and most comprehensive app, which is really kind of funny because Sony doesn't make a lot of good apps other than this. Um, but the Sony app is really good, strikes in. It does so many things well. It's got the intelligence, noise cancellation, basically finding out where you are. So if you're in uh, on a train, subway, it gives you the most. If you're not in the subway, maybe at home like this here, it'll be quieter. Uh, you can also change your EQs as well. You can change what you're using with LDAC or Aptex since all of them use Aptex HD as well. So that's also pretty cool. So you get really good audio combined, but the app is really good. You can go into your EQs and change a lot of that. So well balanced and deep right there. That goes to Sony. Sony has the best app out of all three. So for me, the king is still the Sony WH-1000 WH Mark III's. These are absolutely fantastic because it covers a lot of categories. Um, in terms of battery life, it is great on battery life. In terms of noise canceling features, uh, it is up there uh, with the best. It does also have a really good app that gives you a lot of functionality in it too. And the audio mixing is great. Plus the price point right now really just settles it well. I think when you're listening to music and you want noise canceling, you can't go wrong with that. My second place is the Bear Dynamic Lagoon ANC. Uh, the richness in sound this gives you is quite good. If you want a little bit more bass in there, it gives you that. It's very rich. Uh, and I think uh, once they get that ANC balance, I think they will get there and add a few more features and do some more stuff with the app like Sony has. I think there's the, a good way to go, but spending $400 on these, you will not regret it. And finally, of course, third is the Bose uh, Headphone 700. Bose has done a really good job improving these pair of headphones. Now, in terms of noise cancellation, Bose has come back to be number one, uh, but there are a few things they're lacking. The audio quality has gotten better, really, really high on the highs, but no mids and really flat bass really brings a lot of things down in terms of the audio quality. And also the um, um, the app application is really thin. I do have to give quick props again to Bear Dynamics for the mic quality. The mic on this is really good. So there it is guys. Man, I have been talking for a minute and a half. It's been a long video, I apologize, but yeah, this is, this is the king. This is the king of headphones, this is what I still says is the uh, are the best noise canceling headphones in 2019. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you like these kind of videos, leave a comment down below so we can do more. Again, smash that subscribe button and always enjoy your entertainment.